We have a question here about discounts. And instead of being given the percentage, we're given the before and after price. And we're asked to figure out what the percentage of the discount was. Now, the way we would normally calculate a discount if we were given a percentage is we would say the percentage of the list price equals the amount off. All right, so let, let me actually write that for you. The percent of the list price equals the amount off of the list price. All right, so it's the percentage that we're looking for. So I'm gonna, I'll put an X there. We know the list price, that's 12 99 Now, how much is the amount off? All right, well, if 12 99 was the original price, 10 99 is the new price, Subtract those two when you get the amount of, it was reduced in dollars, right? So that's going to be, do the do your calculator if you need to there. That's going to be $200. Right now, all I have to do is solve this equation. I'll divide both sides by 12.9999. And this comes out to 0.1538. Uh, and if you turn that into a percentage, right, because the, the question asks for the percent discount, I would move the decimal point two places to the left, and we would get 15.38%. It's not a kind of clean 15%, 10% off you, you would normally expect. But in this case, the seller, instead of going for a nice clean percentage number, opted for a clean discount, a nice even $200. Right, so that's why the number maybe came out seeming a little unusual. So if you like this uh, example, please don't forget to click on the like button down below. Uh, if you want to see the full context, the upper link here will take you to the lecture on percentages. And the link below uh, will take you to the next example in this series where we talk about how to essentially kind of back out a percentage from a number.